video, we'll take a look at how to do uh, copying of Excel formulas. So I have a simple Excel spreadsheet here. I have some information on employees, the hours they've worked, for example, number of hours in a week that they each of them has worked and the wage per hour is this much. So I want to compute the total wage. So one uh, the thing you could do is to take advantage of Excel's power rather than just say uh, 45 times you have to say equals 45 times 32 you could basically just uh, where you're typing the actual numbers instead of that what you could do is uh, you can basically point to each of these cells so this is f6 here times uh, g6 you can basically do that and get the same answer the advantage is that now if you uh, refer to the cells um, f6 and g6 instead of uh, um, if you refer to the cells, if you refer to the cells instead of the actual numbers, uh, the advantage is that you could change the number. For example, if the wage per hour becomes 33, then it will automatically change the total wage as well. Okay, so that's the advantage of, uh, you, know, you know, using the cell addresses to do your uh, formulas. Now, supposing you want to um, compute the total wages for all the other employees, you could laboriously do the same procedure here as well. You can say F seven times g7 and keep going like that or there's a much quicker way you can basically just copy this formula all the way down so to do that uh, click on the small square on the bottom right corner of the first cell where you want to copy drag it and uh, all the way down to whatever cell you want the formula to be copied and it'll just copy the full thing another way to do this is i'm just going to delete this uh, if you have a really long set of records, then copying it can be painful. You could just double click on this plus sign and that will also automatically copy everything. Okay, and one final, um, you know, a little trick I want to show you is that you can also copy this by preserving the format. So supposing some of these cells are, you know, highlighted um, for with a certain color in order for whatever, like, you know, your original purpose might be that, you know, you want to highlight certain cells and not others. So now if you do a double click and copy the formula, it's going to overwrite the format. But uh, if you don't want the format to be overwritten, you see a small little autofill options box po that pops up here. It will only pop up the first time that you have done this. Uh, after that, you save it, it will go. So as soon as you, it pops up like this, you can you know do the drop down and you can say uh, fill without formatting. So what that does is it fills the cells with the formulas that you want. It copies the formulas, but it does not affect the formatting itself. And another thing I want you to observe as you look at the formulas is that here it is F6 times G6. The next one is F7 times G7. The one after that is F8 times G8. So basically, uh, as you're copying the formula down, Excel is very smart. It also changes the cell addresses automatically for you. Uh, so that's another neat feature of doing this. Okay, so I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.